Hi everyone, my name is Joey. Do you or your kids or your teen want to try the clay wheel? Well, now's the time because in this fall session, we're going to be making these beautiful stack and slam wire wedging stoneware wheel mugs. That's a lot to say, and it is a little bit more of a complicated process than say, just taking clay from a bag and learning how to do the wheel. So the process of doing this involves getting three different types of clay. So we're gonna have a dark brown stoneware, we have a white speckled stoneware, and we have a brown speckled stoneware. And what we do is we do a method that's called stack and slam. So we cut a piece of each of these colors, we stack them together, and we're slamming them on the table, and at the same time, wedging them, and also cutting them with wire cutters. And that's how we make this beautiful, unique pattern that we see on these demos. Now these demos are done by our Oak Bay director. His name is Martin and he helped create this project and it's absolutely beautiful, this technique. Once you have your clay all mixed together and you have a ball of clay and you're ready to go to the wheel, you're gonna start learning how to throw. So throwing can be a little bit difficult to grasp in the beginning. One thing to be really aware of if you have two kids registering or if you are registering for a workshop with a friend is that one person might get the centering really quickly. And usually it's luck that they got it so quickly. Just because your friend gets it doesn't mean they're natural. It just means they got it on the first try or the second try or whatever it is. You'll get it. It just takes a little bit of practice. Just because you don't get it on the first try doesn't mean you're not good at it. And so practice, practice, practice is what you need for the clay wheel. And then once you do get your centering, you can make these beautiful cylinders just like Martin did. And then once you have that, you can start learning about handles. So you can do a sort of like a larger handle like that, a different shape handle, or you can do small handles, whichever you like and whatever feels comfortable in your hand. And then once that's done, we have to wait for them to dry. So we turn it upside down and we let it dry to a state called leather dry. And once it's dry, we can trim the cup. So we start with the bottom, making sure it's all nice and smooth. And then we run our trimming loop along the side. And when you run the trimming loop along the side, it's magic. And I'm not gonna show you because I don't want any spoilers, but it is beautiful. And then once it's been trimmed, now it's time to go into the kiln. So your cup goes in the kiln and then you have to come back again and that's when you put glaze on the inside of the mug because you want to make sure that it's sealed well. And then once that's done, it goes back into the kiln again. And then once all that's done, you get to take your mug home. Stay tuned to our next video when we'll talk about another clay and sculpture project that we're going to be doing in our classes for fall. And like I said, don't worry if you're an adult watching this, we're going to have this as a clay workshop as well. I highly recommend that you probably book around four hours for this one because it is a little bit more complicated than say one where you're just getting the clay from the bag. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.